With five missile tests in 10 days, North Korea's actions have people concerned and the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency keeping an eye on that part of the world. KITV4's Jefferson Tyler spoke to experts to find out how real the threat is for the islands. Two experts told me they're not worried about a nuclear hit happening on Hawaii because they don't believe that North Korea has the technology needed to make an accurate hit happen on the islands. There are, however, plans in place if this does happen. The miracle would be if they actually hit the island. Uh, and then the second miracle would be if the, the warhead actually went off. Policy and military experts are skeptical about the current threat of nuclear attack by North Korea. We're in the 8,000 to 9,000 range uh, for deployable nuclear weapons. They're in the, you know, I can count them on two hands range of nuclear weapons. And it's not just the amount that makes a difference. One military expert tells KITV4 that North Korea doesn't have course correction in their long range missiles yet. They haven't used practice tests to gauge the distance to the U.S. There's also ballistic defense in Alaska, which destroys foreign intercontinental missiles on their way up, and Aegis missile defense on and near Kauai to try and hit those projectiles coming down on their targets. They haven't had a very high functioning test facility in a while, um, although there is some speculation that maybe this is um, evidence that they're going to try to get a facility up and running again. One policy expert says he believes that the real reason for all the missile tests right now is not to prepare for an attack, but instead to instill fear in others of one happening. We're probably at one of the higher levels of economic sanction against North Korea. We haven't sat down with them and tried to negotiate anything since Trump left office. Uh, they were particularly hard hit from their isolation during COVID. Uh, so there are also reasons that we could speculate that they want something. In remaining vigilant, Hyema has updated its hazard emergency plan this year. That's a plan that covers the basics of something like a nuclear attack or even a typhoon, how they use police and fire. The explosion and shock from a missile hitting is often what causes the most damage. There may be a hot zone if there was a specific type of impact. We have mountains that would reflect radiation, but I mean, there would be a good chunk of the island, which would be entirely uninhabitable. There may be evacuations. There may be other life safety related activities that are going on. The door is open to use iodine tablets if there is a nuclear attack to help treat radiation, but those are used in pre-treatment, and I'm told there are plenty in supply right now. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4, Island News.